your first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Brad Travis. A quiet night out there. A touch of fog may form due to recent heavy rainfall. We've had over an inch, two inches of rain in some areas, three inches of rain in the last 24 hours. 72 right now from the U.S. Space and Rocket Center on the Breeze Camera Network. It's almost the weekend and what a weekend it's going to be. Mother's Day weekend, 75 for the high. Look at the morning lows though, 52 degrees. The evening temperatures are going to be a little cool too, so great weather if you're doing some camping out there. Maybe you can do a patio fire, things like that. Plan ahead, right? Uh, because the temperatures will be cool. You may need a jacket for your evening plans, and that would include uh, maybe a baseball game or whatever you're doing outdoors past, say, 9 o'clock. It's, it's going to be in the low 60s, so that's a little cool compared to what, where we have been, especially since the air is dry. A lot of lawnmowers going out there. We've got good weather for that. Monday, it's a little tricky. A chance of showers coming back in the forecast. As we kind of rewind back to 7 o'clock, model guidance doing pretty good, keeping us dry. Some high clouds out there. We're going to see passing clouds throughout the day tomorrow, and there's still one last chance of some showers down here from Smith Lake into the south side of Coleman, and that may actually move towards Albertville and Boaz. But look at the time. That's 7 o'clock. It's gone, so most of that you'll sleep right through that. So no big issues out there. By 11 o'clock tomorrow, the breeze picks up out of the north around 9 miles an hour. May gust to about 17 tomorrow afternoon. So if you're going to be out on area lakes, it may be a little choppy out there. But overall, great weather out there. Good patio weather. Uh, you could lay out by the pool, but it's not going to be the pool-like temperature that, that you want. But the sun's still going to do a uh, number on that tan, right? Don't forget the sunscreen out there. Good about golfing golf courses will probably be really, really busy the next few days. Uh, we're not tracking any storms here, but take a look at what's going on down here in Auburn area down from Auburn just to the east of Montgomery. A ton of lightning going on. They've got winds. They've had some structural damage down here in the Dadeville area on 280 just to the northwest of Auburn. So keeping a close eye on that. I'll zoom in a little bit more for you in case you've got students or interest down here in Auburn. The highest wind has just uh, actually passed just west here of Auburn on the west side. So again, keeping an eye on that. But again, the winds in this could be 60 to 70 miles per hour. They could see some power outages down there tonight too due to that significant lightning. So you may want to give your loved one a call or a text. Let them know that's on the way. And we've got a weather radio down there for our kids. So again, we program those weather radios. You can program them from anywhere and send them off to your students that are in college so they can get those alerts too. 76 degrees, partly cloudy tomorrow, mostly sunny and just a beautiful day, just a beautiful start to the weekend. It's been a long week for some of us. 20% uh, chance of a shower early tomorrow morning. I just showed you where that's going to be down there in the southern fringes of the viewing area. And as we continue on with your 10 day forecast, it is just going to be beautiful this weekend. Chamber of Commerce weather almost except for that wind there as we get into Friday afternoon. Uh, but the humidity will be back for those that miss it. It'll be back by Monday and Tuesday, and so will the shower chances. So we'll